Hey guys, what's up? It's Mitch here. I just wanted to do a really quick video to show you guys how I go about buying expired domains. And uh, I use these for either building new websites, depending on what kind of site I'm building, if I want an age domain or something with a little bit of PR. Um, but you really got to be careful with buying expired domains that have PR. You want to double check the backlinks and make sure that everything is legit because a lot of times you can buy a high PR uh, expired domain and it'll just drop its PR after you set up your website on it so that'll be a waste of money uh, but the nice thing about uh, all the sites that you find on Swift drops are they're they're quite cheap most of the time so that's what I like to use is Swift drops um, there's a link in the description uh, it is an affiliate link. I'd appreciate if you use it. Uh, if you don't, that's fine. Uh, you can just go to swiftdrops.com and, and uh, then I won't get the commission, which is fine. I do still recommend that you use this. So I'm just going to log in here and show you guys what it's all about. It's really quite easy. Uh, I like it because it's quite fast. Oh, I'm already logged in. Um, okay yeah well you just log in like a normal any any other website and so what I do here is I just scroll down and here's some of the options you can decide if you want to uh, you can just select what kind of page rank you're looking for how many backlinks um, if you're looking for a, a domain that has some traffic say you're gonna 301 it to a uh, one of your own websites to steal the traffic from an expired domain you can search by traffic um, age pages indexed by Google uh, and the price range and uh, you can choose either closeouts expiring or a public auction and um, you can scroll down and choose which uh, domain extensions you're looking for I just usually leave them all checked for the most part it's usually I only really buy dot com or dot org or dot net but uh, I usually just leave them all checked because it's just a hassle to go through them all. So I'm just going to, I'm going to be building a, a website about hosting uh, just as an example site for some of the videos that I'm going to be doing in the future. So I thought I'd just show you the process of how I'm going to find the expired domain because I want one with a little bit of age. Uh, so I'm just going to type in hosting. And uh, see how quick that is. There's a list of sites down here that have hosting. They all have hosting in the domain. You can see all the information they list. Now what I'm going to do is, because I'm going to look for first by, by PR, if I can find something with a bit of page rank and some age that's also indexed in Google, that's what I'm looking for. I'll just hit this again so it reverses the order. Um, but when you're looking for something that has age, you want to make sure that it's still indexed in Google because if it's not indexed in Google, the age doesn't really count for much. So keep that in mind. So see this one here, it says it's a PR3, but it's got no backlinks and it's not indexed and it's got no traffic. So I wouldn't even consider that one. But this one right at the top, I actually already bid on it. Um, a few minutes ago before I made this video um, because it looks pretty good so it's levneyhosting.com it's an expiring domain it's got a page rank of three it's got 51 backlinks listed according to Swift Drops uh, it's got four pages in the index so that means Google's still got some record of it it's five years old which is pretty good and it's got about 30 traffic according to GoDaddy so that's a pretty good domain. I'm, that's the only one I'm going to bid on from what I'm looking at here. Uh, my other thought was this one here, freezehosting.net. But when I looked it up in Ahrefs, it has no backlinks. So I, I'm going to avoid that one. But what I do is uh, when I'm looking for an expired domain is first I look at uh, what we're looking at right here. And I find something that looks like this. It's got some PR, some backlinks, still in the index, and it's got some age and traffic. That's that's good. So I just copy that, and then I go over to Ahrefs, and I've got a full uh, 
review video of Ahrefs on my YouTube channel and my website will I will be posting that an article about Ahrefs very shortly on pwnedmarketing.com but this is what I do I go over to Ahrefs and I'm already logged in and I just punch in the uh, domain and I just check it for backlinks and see what kind of links it's got and you can see here uh, it's got 98 backlinks they're only coming from seven IP addresses uh, but that's okay because uh, it looks like it's been around for a long time it's five years old it's still indexed in Google and it's got some links and they're all for the anchor text of levnihosting.com so you can see a list of the backlinks here they're all coming from this uh, seo.oncz.net website but that's okay I really just want something that's got a little bit of age and if it's got some traffic and backlinks and PR on top of that that's a bonus so then I just check the anchors and as you can see it's all pretty much all for levnihosting.com there's a couple just linked with www and the rest are no text so this looked like a pretty good domain to me that's really all I do to check domains before I buy them you can do a few other things like you can check the history of how many times it's been dropped and and that sort of thing with domain tools but uh, I usually don't bother because this domain is only like twelve dollars or nine dollars or something like that twelve dollars so if I if if I buy it and it's no good, then, you know, I'm not too worried. It's just 12 bucks. But, uh, you know, if I was buying, like, a PR6 that was going to cost me hundreds of dollars, I'd obviously look into it a little bit more and make sure that everything was legit. But I'm just going to be building a demo site on this, on this domain uh, just for videos to show people how, how to do some things. So that's really it. Um, check out swiftdrops.com like I said there's a link in the description I appreciate if you use it uh, it is an affiliate link uh, so I'll earn a little bit of a commission if you sign up for swift drops with that link but uh, I do recommend swift drops it's really easy uh, to find expired and closing domains and uh, check out Ahrefs if you need a place to check the backlinks on your domains thanks for watching